also look at how much we often buy this equipment for. And this is not necessarily this administration. This has been going on for years. And it turns out that we are spending too much. And it's not difficult to, to think about. You all have laptops. You all have an idea what the laptop costs, what the camera costs, what the scanner costs. And you put it together and add a printer. When somebody tells you that's $3,500 to $4,000, you don't have to be a genius. You don't have to have a PhD. You have to start wondering, are we really getting value for money? $4,000 for some laptop and printer and printer, this thing, there's something in there. And it's not therefore surprising that even countries like Zimbabwe and the like get it far cheaper than we do. We are spending as almost three times more Zimbabwe what Zimbabwe does. When you add all that up, it comes to this simple conclusion. They have, since 2011, it's a lie that we've not bought any new equipment and everything dates back to 2011. We spend millions of dollars. From the parliamentary record, we see almost $80 million since then buying new tents, refurbishing old tents. So, if we have to do anything, we just have to do a few more repairs, a little bit more maintenance, maybe buy a few 200 here, 300 there, etc., etc., and it will not get you to the 50, uh, $74 million that they told you you need if you want to improve or maintain the current system. End of story. It will cost you far less. If we allow them to continue doing what they are doing, then as I've explained to you, it will mean that this is the amount of losses this country has to rack up. Almost $150 million. Because it's not only the new hardware that you are buying, you are also buying new software. 